Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hashem Ali Khan. Last video I have explained you about the main head of income that is income from salary. So in that uh, video I have explained you what is the meaning of the term salary. When an income will be treated as income from salary according to the provisions of Income Tax Act 1961. What are the different components of salaries like salary, allowances, perquisites, profit in lieu of salary. Then what are the items that may come under the head salary? That means the basic pay, wages, pension, gratuity, employer's contribution to RPF in excess of 12%. Like that so many items are there that may come under salary, under the head salary. That I have explained. Lastly, basic pay. Basic pay is the prime salary which the employer gives to the employees. Normally, the basic pay will not be constant. There will be an increment in basic pay. Like first year, the basic pay is let it be 10,000. Next year will not be 10,000. There will be an increment of 200. So monthly 10,200 the employee will get. Then again third year, again 200 rupees increment. So 10,400. Like that in graded form, the, inc the basic pay will be paid by the employer to the employee. Now in this video, I am going to solve few problems on finding out the basic pay during the current previous year when basic pay is given in a graded form. So those problems I am going to solve in this video. So before starting the video, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. So take a printout and keep it ready. Take a screenshot of the solution of the first pro few problems on calculation of basic pay during the current previous year. Come on, see the first problem. Calculate the total basic pay for the previous year 2021. Remember, our current assessment year is 21-22. The previous year is 2021. So we have to compute the basic pay for the previous year 2021. If the basic pay on 1st April 2020, beginning of the year, is 9000, and an annual increment of 900 rupees is due on 1st October. The 1st October, there will be an increment of 900. Beginning of the year, the basic pay was 9000. So our year begins from 1st April. So April, May, June, July, August, September. These six months, the, SS, the employee will get salary of 9000 per month. Then from 1st October onwards, there will be an increment of 600, 900. So 9,900 he will get. From when onwards? From October. So October, November, December, January, February, March. These six months, the employee will get 9,900. We have to find out what is the total basic pay during the previous year. Now see here. Problems on basic pay. First, previous year is 2021. Annual increment 900 rupees due on 1st October. Now first we calculate basic pay from beginning of the year. Our year begins from 1st April. So 1st April 2020 to 30th September 2020. Because from October onwards there is increment. So up to September no increment. So 9000 in 9000 rupees per month. For 6 months 9000. From 1st October 2020 to 31st March 2021. For 6 months 9900. So first six months 9,000, second six months 9,900. So 9,000 into six months 54,000, 9,900 into six months 59,400. So total basic pay for the current previous year is 1,13,400. That's it. This is the first problem. Now see the second one. The basic pay on 1st April 2020, beginning of the year is 11,200, beginning of the year. An increment is due on 1st Feb 2021. 
that means first feb means our year is closing on 31st march 2021 so february march only two months increment will apply remaining 10 months no increment 11200 so increment is 900 calculate the total of basic pay for the previous year 2021 very easy orally we can say the answer because increment is there on 1st feb so february and march these two months increment is added that means 11200 plus 900 that will add up remaining 10 months 11200 so here previous year 2021 basic pay on 1 4 2020 beginning of the year 11200 increment due on 1st feb 2021 is 900 so salary from 1st april 2020 to 31st january 2020 because our increment begins from 1st feb so up to 31st january without increment 11200 into 10 months 1 lakh 12000 salary from 1st feb 2021 to 31st march 2021 two months salary 12100 how 12100 11,200 plus 900. 11,200 plus 900. 12,100 into two months. 24,200. So total basic pay 136,200. That is a total basic pay for the previous year. By doing these calculations, you will be perfect regarding how to calculate the basic pay. Next, third problem. Sri TK Devendra joined as an accounts officer in a limited company on 1st August 2015 in the scale of 12,400, 500, 14,900, 700, 17,000. This is a graded pay scale given. After completing three years of service, he was granted one extra increment. Calculate the total basic pay for the previous year 2021. Here, little bit complicated because graded pay scale is given from when onwards from 1st August 2015. So we have to start our calculations from 1st <coughs> August 2015. See, uh, see, TK uh, date of joining is 1st August 2015. Pay scale 12400 dash, 500 dash, 14900 dash. 700 dash 17,000. So at the time of joining, his monthly salary will be 12,400. After completing one year, his salary will increase by 500. So 12,900 he will get next year's salary. Monthly salary 12,900. Then again 500 it will increase. Again 500. This will go up to 14,900. Once it, it reaches 14,900, after that the increment will be 700. So every year 7700 rupees will be added till it reaches 17,000. Once it reaches 17,000, no increment, it will be constant. Now, after completing three years of service, he was granted one extra increment. One point is given that will take it into account. <clears throat> First of all, when he has joined 1st August 2015, so we will start our calculations from 1st August 2015 to one year will end on 31st July 2016. 31st July 2016. Our year begins from first year. The date of joining is 1st August. 1st August is a start of year. So one year will be completed on 31st July 2016. So during this period of one year, the monthly salary will be 12,400. Next year will begin from 1st August 2016. See, 31st July 2016 completed. After July, what is the next month? August. 1st August 2016 to 31st July 2017. One year. During this year, there is an increment of 500. The so last year's salary 12,400 plus 500. 12,900 rupees per month during this period. Now next year will begin from 1st July 2017 because here it is ended at 31st July 2017 so next year 1st August 2017 to 31st July 20, uh, 2018 it was started in 17 ended in 18 in this year there is an increment of 500 so 12,900 plus 500 it will be 13,400 13,400 
Now from 1st August 2018 to 31st July 2019, how many years completed? One year, two year, three year. Three years are completed. Now it is given after completing three years of service, he was granted one extra increment. Apart from normal increment, one extra increment is given after three years. So 13,400. What is the annual increment? 500 plus one more 500. Because it is given here, after three years of service, one extra increment. This is the extra increment. If the sentence was not given, we would have taken only one 500. Only once we have taken 500. But here sentence is given. Agreement is there. So again 500. So 14,400. Next year will begin from 1st August 2019 to 31st July 2020. So 14,400 plus 500. 14,900. Now we have reached this one. 14,900 we have reached. Next year will begin from 1st August 2020 to 31st July 2021. Now the increment is 700. Because after reaching 14,900, the next increment is 700. So 14,900 plus 700, it comes to 15,600. Now further we are not going because we have reached up to 31st July 2021. Our year ends on 31st March 2021. We need the data only up to 31st March 2021 and already we got it. Now current to previous year is 2021. Salary from 1st April 2020. To 31st July 2020. 31st July. There is a break here. From 1st August 2019 to 31st July 2020. How much is the salary? 14,900. Our year begins from 1st April to 31st July 2020. 14,900 into how many months? April, May, June, July. April, May, June, July. 4 months. So 14,900 into 4 months. 59,600. From 1st August 2019, 1st August 2020 to 31st March 2021, we will not go up to 31st July. Our year ends on 31st March 2021. For this period, the monthly salary is 15,600. So 15,600 into 8 months from August. August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. 8 months. So total salary will be 1,84,400. This is the total basic pay. In this way, we calculate the basic pay for the current previous year when graded form is given. Next one. Fourth problem. Dr. Rahul is working as a junior scientific officer in the pay scale of 14,875, 17,500, 1,000, 2,500, 1,400, since 1 9 2013 1st september 2013 on 1st september 2018 he was promoted as a senior scientific officer by giving two additional increments in addition to normal increment previous problem one additional increment was given but now two additional increments will be given calculate the total basic pay for the year 2021 just like the previous problem exactly similar Dr. Rahul, pay scale is given 14,875, 1,500, 1, 1,300, 1,400, 3,300. This is the graded pay scale given. Date of joining, 1st <coughs> September 2013. And on 1-9-2014, two additional increments are given. That is the data given. The date of joining, 1st September 2019. So we start our calculations from 1st September 2013. From 1st September 2013 to 31st August, one year will be completed. Beginning from 1st September, end on 31st August. So 31st August 2014, the basic salary is 14,000 per month. Second year starts from 1 9 2014 to 31st August 2015. The increment is 875. So 14,000 plus 875, 14,875. Third year will start from 1 9 2015 to 31st August 2016. One year is completed. So 14,875 plus 875, 15,750. Next, from 1 9 2016 to 31st August 2017, 
लास्ट ईयर सैलरी फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड सेवन फिफ्टी प्लस एट सेवेंटी फाइव सिक्सटीन सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव नेक्स्ट ईयर वन नाइन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सेवेंटीन टू थर्टी फर्स्ट अगस्ट ट्वेंटी एटीन तो सिक्सटीन सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस एट सेवेंटी फाइव सेवनटीन थाउजेंड फाइव नाउ द नेक्स्ट ईयर स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वन नाइन ट्वेंटी एटीन टू थर्टी फर्स्ट अगस्ट ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन हियर नाउ लाइज द पॉइंट ऑन वन नाइन ट्वेंटी एटीन two additional increments are given that is the new point when 19 2018 comes additional increment to the so normal increment is how much 1000 after reaching 17500 see here we have reached 17500 after 17500 what is the annual increment 1000 so the normal increment is 1000 so here this is a normal increment but apart from normal increment Two additional increments. It is saying, apart from normal increment, two additional increments has to be given. So again, one thousand, one thousand. So total seventeen five hundred plus one thousand plus one thousand plus one thousand twenty thousand five hundred. That is the basic pay per month during this period. Next comes one nine twenty nineteen to thirty first August twenty twenty. So twenty thousand five hundred plus one thousand normal increment twenty one five hundred. Then one nine twenty twenty to thirty first August twenty twenty one, so twenty one five hundred plus one thousand twenty two five. We have we have reached up to thirty first August twenty twenty one. Our year ends on thirty first March twenty twenty one. So we got it. Up to thirty first March we got the data. Now easily we can find out what is the basic pay during the last previous year. So our current previous year twenty twenty one. From first April twenty twenty to thirty first August twenty twenty. Here the break is up to thirty first August twenty twenty. The salary is twenty one thousand five. So here twenty one five hundred into five months. How five months? Our year begins from April. So April, May, June, July, August, thirty first August. So five months. Twenty one five hundred into five months. One lakh seven thousand five hundred. The next year begins from first September twenty twenty to thirty first March twenty twenty one. The salary is twenty two five hundred. So twenty two five hundred into how many months? September, October, November, December, January, February, March. Seven months. So total basic pay is two lakh sixty five thousand for the current previous year. One more last problem. Fifth one is the last problem on this topic of basic pay. Mr Ronak is employed in a limited company as a senior marketing officer he gives you the following particulars of income for the previous year basic pay in the scale of 3200 3600 500 6600 600 9100 on 1st august 2014 the date of joining is 1st august 2014 calculate the total basic pay for the previous year 2021 exactly similar Mr Ronak basic pay the basic pay graded is given whatever is given in the problem same thing i have written from 1st august 2014 date of joining from 1st august 2014 to 31st july year ends year begins from 1st august 2014 so one year will be ended on 31st july 2015 14 15 so monthly salary will be 3000 per month Now second year will start from first August 2015 because 31st July was closed ended. One year is ended. The next date is first August 2015 to 31st July 2016. Increment 200. So 3200 per month. Next year will begin from first August 2016 to 31st July 2017. So 3200 plus 200, 3400. Next year first August 2017 to 31st July 2018. Three thousand four hundred plus two hundred, three thousand six hundred. Then first August twenty eighteen to thirty first July twenty nineteen, three thousand six hundred plus five hundred. It is four thousand one hundred. Then <clears throat> four thousand one hundred. Then we have to go up to three thousand six hundred. After three thousand six hundred, five hundred is the increment. Three thousand six hundred is a break. After reaching three thousand six hundred, increment is five hundred here. So three thousand six hundred plus five hundred four thousand one hundred. Now four thousand one hundred plus five hundred four thousand six hundred. Now first August twenty twenty 
to 31st July 2021, 4,600 plus 500, 5,000 We have reached up to 31st July 2021, but our previous year ends on 31st March 2021. So current the previous year 2021. From 1st April 2020 to 31st July 2020, because up to 31st July 2020, there is a separate basic pay, 4,600. After that, 5,100. So 31st July 20. How many months? April, May, June, July. Four months. So 4,600 into four months. 18,400. Now next slab will begin from 1st August 2020 to 31st March 2021. 5,100 per month. So here August, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. Eight months. So 5,100 into eight, 40,800. Total basic pay is 59,200. That's it. So in this video, five problems I have solved on calculating the basic pay for the current previous year. When the basic pay is given in a graded form, how to calculate the basic pay for the current previous year. That I have explained you in this video. Inshallah, in the next video, I'll take up the next very important topic of salary income. That is allowances. What are the different types of allowances? What do you mean by allowances? What are the different types of allowances? And what are the provisions of Income Tax Act regarding the computation of allowances taxable?